<sighs> ah, hello, everyone. Hey. Woo! I'm coming on here. It's been a while, and I really just wanted to share while, like, I was, like, feeling inspired by this by this knowing that's been coming through me. And what's been really becoming really clear is that our world has learned to normalize living in misalignment. We've learned to endure hardships or long hours or destructive relationships, tendencies, and chalked it up to that being life, to that being part of living. And it's just my heart is beating and like, of this like, this like realization of truth of like, we've just normalized it. We've learned to take that on as like the baseline condition of living in this human body and it's not. It's not, we can choose. And what I've really been noticing is that we know that we have this inner knowing that it's not aligned, that it's not truth, that it's not sitting well in our body, but yet we choose to believe external sources to make the choice for us. We're trusting other sources to know what's best for our own selves inside and out. And we're giving away our ability to provide and create nourishing lives and conditions for not only our own selves, but when we are nourished and we are aligned and we are thriving, everyone around us is thriving. Because when we are hurting, when we are suffering, when we are sacrificing ourselves, when we are sacrificing our well-being, we walk around with that pain, with that resentment, with that hurt. And everything we do, everything we create is from that place. Every relationship we have is set from that foundation. So what I'm saying here is that the realization is that we've learned to reject ourselves. We've learned to reject our feelings. We've learned to reject our emotions. We've learned to reject our inner spidey sense that's saying like, hey, this isn't good for me here. This doesn't feel right. This doesn't sit right. And we've learned to reject those spidey senses in the name of facts, in the name of things presented to us that say we should feel a certain way. And I'm not here to say that logic, science, and facts do not play an important role in our society. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that alongside those science and facts, we must also incorporate our feelings and ourselves and our inner knowings. Because if we don't, we'll be following those facts off a cliff. We'll be following those facts into deep misalignment, into pain, into living as halflings, into being in that place, and you know this place, where you're doing everything right on the outside, but yet somehow we're feeling unfulfilled, we're feeling unloved, and we're feeling lonely. And that's because we've rejected ourselves. We've rejected incorporating the importance of our feelings, the importance of our inner knowings, our emotions. We've thrown those to the side in favor of external beliefs. And I'm going to say it one more time because I know there'll be people in the back that haven't heard me the first time when I'm saying I'm not throwing science to the side. I'm not saying facts are irrelevant. I'm saying that fact goes along with, with feeling. And together, only when they're together, can we create lives that actually feel in alignment that actually feel good because you can't feel good if you don't know how to feel and that's a fact and with that I feel complete with this message I feel good showing up in my full feeling flow emotions because you know where I'm speaking from if you're watching this now you know where I'm speaking from and that's from my heart.